Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another NTW3 battle. Today we have a 4v4. This one is uh, just some uh, theaters of war cores, I guess you say. This building has fallen to uh, the enemy. Cores, just theaters of war. So we have a 10-point Russia. I um, mean, forgive me, I do not uh, remember the French cores. I know there was a... Holland? I, 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 yeah, no, I'm not going to remember the French at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have a 10-point Russia, a 9-point UK Netherlands, a 9-point UK Portugal, and a 9-point Russia here on the field. A very big bloodbath, guys. Um, I'm not going to tell you where, I'm not going to tell you when, but it was an insane bloodbath of a battle. Um, talk about high casualties on both sides. So stick around. You're probably going to love it. Looks like some Our Russian cavalry running, did get uh, surprised here. Seems like uh, this Russian 9 player wants to pay attention. And lost their Cossacks. Maybe they'll come back, though. You know, they, they'll, they'll probably come back. Um, it does look like a massive amount of UK cavalry. Um, yeah, pushing over here. My goodness, they have the Scots Greys. They have the Lifeguard, the Cheeses. They have the Dragoon Guards, the Trade Union. Man, they have all of the cavalry that you would want on the field here. Man, yeah, that Cossack did come back. Um, yeah, so it does look like, you know, there's a hard flank being pushed by the 10-point Russia. And uh, France kind of trying to buckle down. Maybe an LOC here holds their flank. Um, we have at least one general here. You have another one pushing down the central road. Another one that's kind of hovering behind this LOC, and then another one way in the back. So still yet to see a deployment of the French forces. Um, but uh, obviously this is a pretty threatening flank that Russia is going to be pushing on them. Um, while all three other factions are kind of consolidating in this area. Um, seems to kind of be the end goal you see rolling down this road, pushing on the flank. Got skirmishers pushing across as well. And we got another charge by the Cossacks, or at the Cossacks, from some uh, cavalry. Just like they're gonna get themselves away from this, though. We're taking a, a, a tiny bit of losses there. We got horse totally setting up. Um, got even more infantry now pushing across here. Uh, this fight has not yet really begun, but Russia is pushing in. I'm kind of curious. Looks like mostly cavalry here. I do believe there was a cav corps brought by the French. Um, totally like 800 men. And the Russians... Ooh, we're actually going to get a charge off here. Real question is... I feel like I feel like that's gonna be an okay. Oh man, France is piling up cab on top of cab. And they split the Red Sea and pour in some volleys here. Man, just absolutely shredding up this cavalry. I was like, that was kind of cool. I part the Red Sea. You saw that. They pulled it to the side and just fired down the corner. Now, one Russian line of infantry does break while trying to take this LOC. But Russia definitely can still keep pressing that attack forward here. Artillery from France now set up. Um, yeah, just like even more and more. This this UK definitely seems to be pressing the right flank here. He does have some artillery set up as well. Some horse guns. Some really nice uniforms. Uh, this is 9.5 by the way. I'm, oh man, I'm all over the place this morning. This is 9.5, so no release for NTW3. Um, it's been in the works for a little bit. They are working to develop it. Talk about hard work done by the community. Um, oh yeah, man. Russia and I just couldn't get their act together when it came to like multitasking the cab. <laughs> I obviously kid, okay? But obviously it's kind of true, but you know. I'm not here to bash anybody for their gameplay, okay? The 
It does look like uh, Russia still pushing it for the house. Looks like we have more cavalry getting charged by the Russians. Ooh, this is going to be good. One or two shots off. Just a lot of cavalry here. Russia is still committing for this house. He has no squares, and France just keeps trying to roll down the hill. Ooh, I got a shot off these runes beforehand. I don't know, that's kind of an interesting development. This, this, this uh, French Cav Corps keeps just trying to bully this Russia. guys there's a lot of cav is constantly fighting here uh, i've obviously seen a decent amount Ooh, there's some infantry as well starting to push over here russia look like they're fixing up for a fight here we got the other russia now making a an attack or for like starting to uh formulate an attack um maybe against this french position that's being held right here the real fight is still happening over on this side russia's pushed across even more and more infantry as cavalry kind of Start defending his lines. France still holds the LOC. Still Russia going for the fight in the house. Actually almost have won, it looks like. Oh, oh here they come for that last little pocket of uh, infantry. And they're going to start pressing for the attack just because, you know, <laughs> things seem to be going well for the LOC, guys. I mean, you know, might as well capitalize on that. And they do take it. So now France, they have set up some more security of their own. France is like they're going to actually commit to a fight for the LOC, sending in more line infantry. Still forming up for the attack. The rest of the UK still have yet to push up. The UK Netherlands is still trying to set up their lines against the French. And the French have a good position here, so you know it's any it's anyone's uh anyone's game. Like Russia may actually retake this, or not Russia, this France may retake, retake it. Um, but still, you know, this fight keeps going back and forth. Now we are starting to see France pulling back. You know, why Why wouldn't they? <laughs> they have the LLC, so they could be a little defensive here. Russia still setting up here, but um, we may actually see some more uh, action now starting to uh, mount up here. Russia getting very close. Skirm screen starting to push forward. Horse artillery getting up position. Howitzer starting to prep for firing. Cavalry kind of facing off against each other. France versus the mass amount of cavalry that the UK have. Russia has kind of pulled back a little bit from that fight on the flank. Things just starting up a little bit slow, I guess. Canister trying to, uh, you know, maybe get some of these skirms, but it yeah, probably won't work too, too well. Alter is blasting in this area where there's a lot of French infantry firing. You do have artillery set up for France in a good position. I mean, this is a very defensive map, guys, for the French. They kind of hang out. And uh, they have a nice river, of course, the coalition has pushed across the majority of the river. And actually, the UK getting a nice uh, angle of attack here with skirmishers and line infantry. Uh, looks like we're going to have that general movement from Russia. The artillery really going to start killing a lot of this Russia. It's going to become quite painful pretty early on. 
Uh, we do have an attack for the house, though. And that will launch the attack, it looks like, for the Coalition. Um, we have skirmishers put forward, even some cavalry maybe to go for the artillery to kind of, you know, make it a little more difficult for that, uh, artillery to really get a hit off. Ooh, a lot of friendly charging, though, on that artillery piece. The Gazaris do break. The French artillery, maybe, though, in jeopardy. Maybe they will break as well. You know, maybe enough. France going for a counter charge here. And they do break. We do have Russian Musketeers pushed up. We nice ball here. France gonna go in for a melee charge. Looks like with some Grenadiers. I believe these are Grenadiers. Nice flanking boys. The house does. Okay, the house is not broken yet. We do have uh, some dragoons starting to hover here. The fighting's starting to get a little fierce. Pretty quick off here. UK kind of pushing across the river. France having to be pushed back just because of the heavy concentration of the British on that flank. Nice volleys on the side of this French, French unit. Uh, Russia now starting to press over here, trying to put some more pressure on this French army so they can't really push, but we have a ton of infantry now pushing forward against Russia. Unfortunately, Russia is starting to, uh, you know, cave in here, starting to push for more reserves. It's maybe the time to reconsider the, uh, you know, reconsider what's actually happening here. We have some French cavalry and infantry starting to press forward and coordinate the attack. This is probably a bad idea for uh, France to, uh, you know, or no, not France, Russia to actually try to hold this. This, this is probably a bad idea. You see the rest of Russia is trying to pull back here. Ooh, we have, wow, Russia going for a frontal engagement here. Man, and France just got some really nice volleys off. We have taken the buildings up. Starting to break down. LLC does cave, but you can see all hell has broken loose by this LLC. Full on melee, which of course France is looking to be winning a little bit here. Just, there's troops everywhere. It's becoming a madhouse here. More calves are going to spill over onto this side. Our men are running. And of course, you know, Russia 9 starting to break. They did have a rally. I'm sure that they uh, will pop or have already popped that I missed. Um... But yeah, you can see France is just going straight into a, probably a concentration of, yeah, that's at least two French armies. Maybe the Cav Corps, I'm not totally sure. Going right into the center by the LOC. The British have sort of making a nice flanking charge off or advance off oh, on the French flank. So now it's damage control for the nine points here, trying to pull back his troops, try to reform, maybe get a... Uh, you know, maybe get uh, some of the army to come back. Ten point Russia took some heavy losses against that charge on France. He's pulling his army back. Maybe trying to shift over so he can focus on only this portion of the fight. You see the LC still a raging fight. Uh, but looks like Russia's probably going to lose that one. This flank, however, is looking pretty All good at the running. moment. Artillery even setting up multiple areas. Howitzer is blasting in on this area. Yeah, Russia pulling back from that attack. For the time being, this definitely has calmed down a little bit. Obviously, there was a little bit of some breaking. Some Kazakhs got a nice charge up with some French troops that were trying to follow up this French or this Russian you know, mass route. Now the main fight is raging over here. Now we are still going to maybe get a massive cav engagement. A lot of dragoons now from France shifting over to this left side. 
Of course, they're going to be paired up against some of the best that the UK can offer. We got a lot of artillery maybe uh, forming up and being against some cancer off France, maybe actually trying to go for a uh, bayonet charge on that horse artillery. center here, man, the French are getting just absolutely brutally slaughtered by some uh, UK volleys. A lot of artillery you see just ready to pour in some uh, canister or some round shot. Unfortunately, uh, oh, these 10-point uh, howitzers getting just charged down by some French cavalry. Horse artillery from Russia pushing over towards this side. Does look like uh, the UK are going to engage here in a cab fight. I'm surprised the artillery is firing through their own men. But over here, I mean, the. Artillery, oh my gosh. The artillery is just that that was a bullseye on that unit and just caused an instant rout. And the artillery is just almost point blanking. Yeah. It's just starting to mass route slowly one after the other one of these units. So you know this concentration here is just turning brutal. Air canister. We have canister from this horse artillery. That was one of the developments they made, is that canister fires a lot faster now. So it's a more viable strategy to push up and start just pouring in canister. Look at this fight though, guys. Look at this. Now the French also have artillery of their own that they have uh, pushed back up. See how long that lasts. Alistair is very accurate, from what I can see. We do have a Russia pushing forward for the house once again. We have some brave Northumberland. What is this? What? Well, oh, that was a fucking fire if I ever see one. Looks like France is in Russia are going to start re-engaging in this fight. A nice skirm screen just pouring in fire on that French line. Nice volleys against the French infantry. Russia starting to engage here. France is being forced to start counter-attacking here. And the once already a mass fight for this house starting all over again. You're gonna get some nice volleys off. The house does get taken once again. So this house has exchanged hands multiple times. Still the UK uh, line here. Ooh. It's like a, the, the UK's general has died. Another mass melee here. I hate these kind of fights, guys. They are the worst. There's so much you can't see that's actually truly going on. France pops a rally. That may actually be saving them from uh, maybe a potential mass route. French cavalry pouring across the river, going for some skirmishers, reinforcing French army now, pushing down the road towards this massive house fight. Russia is starting to have some uh, morale some morale wavering. We have a Cavalry Guard get ready in preparation to go in here. The UK seems to be starting to press forward attack just a little bit there. Dragoons from Russia charging in to try to stop this assault column. Another charge from France, though, charging on the plate, trying to hamper some of the Russian infantry from charging into this melee.
What an absolute cluster. Cavalgar getting ready. Being being to be called upon. And they charge in. Beautiful charge. It ties up this column once again. As uh, France is starting to now press on the attack on the flank. They're just using masses amounts, copious amounts of cavalry to try to force their way through. The rest of Russia probably very tired. Some of them are fresh. Going through Cavalgar and start pulling back, but then France just starts charging down this road. This may be that time where like France has to, or Russia has to commit their Cavalgar and keep pressing forward. The UK is still pushing on this attack. It's been a, probably going to turn into a bit of a shootout, basically. We got a mass, massive amount of artillery firing on this side. But look at this. Look at the dead bodies that have already started stacking up here, guys. It's not even over. Yeah, there's there's guys fighting the LLC, so it's going to cause a little bit of delays, a little bit of lag. Just for a second, don't worry. It'll, it'll go away. There's so much happening. Even know how to even keep track of it all. The men of the teams are a must in, in cases like this, guys, we have melee this big. Finning is going to happen. Blobby is going to happen. Pull through to some degree is going to happen without it being intentional. Like units are going to be shooting in. There'll be some maybe in melee. Uh, there may be troops massed up on one unit just because there's so many units everywhere. It's hard to like actually click on the right unit, especially when you're in the fight. So it's going to cause you know bits and pieces of every little thing here. Now, Nine Point Russia forming up here on this river in preparation because, I mean, the rest of the Nine Point and Ten Point Russia have kind of gotten rolled over, unfortunately. Some must brave Russian musketeers fighting out some cabineers. You have a French cavalry trying to push across the river over on this side. The only good thing about this whole thing is that the Russian routing troops are... Uh, oh my gosh, I'm just not paying attention here. One look looking for the main map. So the UK going in for a mass cav fight. Or maybe actually, it looks like actually they got attacked. So France went in for melee and a cav engagement and yet it's huge. Cap fight between the dragoons of the UK and France in the center line. France still trying to hold strong here. Oh, the howitzers just crashing in here. We have a square that was formed. Cavalier still trying to hold this flank here. guys just aren't shooting. Okay, there we go. We got some shooting. Man, they shouldn't have been in column formation. They would have had more firepower. At this point, it's probably hard to figure that out. France is kind of pushing the flank. We have a musketeer holding strong in a square formation. The cavalry guard finally break. side looks like the cavalry from the UK have one out on this fight um, a little bit of you know a problem here just probably because the artillery plus infantry really breaking up this UK assault this fight guys this whole flank going terribly for the coalition at this point in time the square somehow still holding actually the square maybe the only thing that's saving this army's flank from getting totally obliterated Somehow, somehow the coalition is holding 
one last musketeer, Prussian musketeer charge against the French. Somehow this flank has not totally folded just because of the last desperate hold by the Russia, by both Russians, just <laughs> on the river. Have a, that musketeer bravely holding fast, that square somehow holding the UK starting to counterattack a little bit here. The ring of fire by this UK seems to be starting to work. France starting to pull back. They committed a ton of troops and cavalry into this fight. And though they did break the coalition on this flank, uh, the coalition didn't totally fold. There's a remnant of the coalition left, which means they still were able to make somewhat of a stand here. And you can see, what is it, four, four uh, Russian line of tree units left, plus some skirmishers, I guess. But uh, now the whole fight is now going to be up to this UK to keep pressing that attack. Now, obviously, the UK have plenty of troops left to deal with what's probably the only fresh army the French have left. Um, I'd say they're they're pretty well spent over on this side, which, I mean, I wonder why. I wonder why both sides are overspent. No, I was kidding. Obviously, obviously, the mass amount of dead. Man, that is like Medieval 2 style death the man and destruction the here. Must rest Unreal amount of Russian and French dead. All these guns are finally gonna be killed, or they he took off maybe. I, I... Norse guns all pressing forward to get some shots up. The French are going to try to hold us LLC. You know, they fought pretty hard for it, but uh, things aren't looking too good when it comes to, you know, holding. I mean, maybe they still have some more. You can't see everything that they have, you know. But a good battle, man. That, 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 that attack counterattack and the counter counterattack plus the counter counter counterattack um you know very good very well executed on both sides well maybe not totally well executed there's definitely some hiccups but uh you know you can't expect that in a congested area without some you know hiccups <laughs> I will say purple experience. Russia 9, kind of a tough faction to play sometimes, you know, especially if you're new. Just saying. No. I keep bashing Russia 9 because it's okay, guys. Russia 9 was me. I was playing Russia 9. <laughs> um, that was a game I was in. I was trying to give it away because I did terribly, but, you know. Can't help it. Can't help it. It was a fun game, though. Personal experience, see? I was there. I know it was a tough fight. Um, it's a fun game, though. And now we have the UK pushing forward even more and more. Obviously, the house assault is going to have to uh, go off once again. We have a Russia 10-pointer pushing forward his two line infantry units. And going for an LSC attack, probably just to uh, help out with this whole UK push. And of course, I am the 9 point Russia pushing up. I'm onto the flank here to kind of try to support him. I was a little further away, my guy's still pretty tired. Ooh, a nice volley by the Portuguese, though. Then Russia charging in to sort of break that first initial French. I mean, these French troops over here will fight in melee. They're probably exhausted as well. I think I was more worried about a French cab unit on the flank than the fight. I should just committed to this fight and just left, you know, left good enough alone. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, another melee. Over here, oh, we have a bit of a, well, let's say the cavalry tried going in. They did do take this LOC. Huge win there. Unfortunately, you know, my guys just never wanted to shoot. Great flag bearer. They get the program. And, you know, you got to stay back and shoot a little bit first. Um, but no worries there. France maybe caught try counterattack down here. The UK, though, pushing down this road. We have another massive cab fight. Not as massive as the other ones have been, but once again, it looks like some Chasseur Cheval taking on the lifeguards. So, you know, not going to go too well. I mean, there's some Dragoons as well mixed in there. The UK are just going to be able to keep pressing forward. A nice grinding attack here. My pathfinding on my uh, cavalry was terrible. You know, they kept running around in circles and not doing a whole lot. But at this point, we have uh, some cavalry that's going to roll up some uh, Russian non squareables. Our men are running. Uh, actually, they could square, but I don't think they were able to. They were in melee. Either way, um, the only fight really happening now is between the UK and the French. Got a beta charge for the guns. Another general dies. We have a huge grand battery here. Just canistering the other artillery piece plus some infantry. What's up to France is, like I said, trying to maybe try to hold this LLC. I mean, they're guaranteed exhausted, depleted troops. Canis are getting the flank of that cavalry. Very, very nasty. Now you can see the French cavalry. You have the Scots Greys, the lifeguards, plus the the trade unions, trades union, I should say, just rolling up the flank. They're gonna descend upon this French mass that is trying to go into melee. So the square was formed by France. Our men are running for us. But here we go, the final nail in the French coffin. Cavalry in the back lines. That should seal the fate of the French. Yeah, they're gonna have a mass route. Um, there's some guns sitting right here. I'm sure they'll deal with them. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must. But break. a good game. Obviously, like I said, I didn't do very well. I had that frontal assault that did not do well. I got, you know, charged by two different French armies and uh, pulled back. Thankfully, saved some army. And then when Russia ten pushed in, I tried to support him, but you know, I hadn't played NW3 in probably longer than I even can remember. So I was very rusty. It was a rough first game, but a fun first game. And I didn't do terrible, all all points considered. I did not do terribly, terribly bad. <laughs> so, you know, I was like, you know, this is a fun one. And it's not like one of the ones where I'm putting myself up on a pedestal because I did the worst out of everybody. It was still a fun game, though. Very, very intense. Like I said, that bloodbath, especially you can see around this LOC just became crazy. Not super tactical. You can see, I mean, my troops didn't get a ton of kills. Um, but let me pull up the results here, guys, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at uh, the kills and deaths. All right, guys, so here are the results here. You can see, um, actually, we have all the points here, so perfect. <laughs> I had to go and get someone else. I totally forgot to take a screenshot of the end results. Um, but yeah, you can see on the coalition side, we had Sniffable Sharpie, 9 UK, uh, Netherlands got 1559 for the kills. Map Bob, 10 point Russia, 1263 for the kills. Heinze, 9, 9 point UK, Portugal, 1437. And then me, 9 point Russia with 848 for the kills. Uh, man, T 
Te got carried by teammates. That's the way to do it. On the other side, you have Clarkie, uh, 1397, playing his 9 point France Flanders. Um, you have Perky, got 990 for the kills. Uh, he's playing 11 point France Alamein. And then uh, you have the another 11 point France uh, 1060. And then Peasant with 1038 for the kills as a 7 pointer. So an intense battle, very, very bloody. Came down to the to the UK being able to just push that flank while the Russia took the hit. And it worked out in the end. Um, they threw a lot of stuff at us, obviously. And uh, you know, and that that uh that seven point France was a huge army, twenty six hundred men. So but anyway guys, that'll be the battle for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will catch you all in another video.